Larabaru Brothers Bakers mixed dough and formed loaves as usual last night, getting ready to bake the 30,000 loaves of French bread that Larabaru has turned out five times a week for many years. It was late in the shift before everyone knew that this would be the last time. The company is bankrupt, forced to the wall by a $2 million damage award to a six-year-old boy injured by a bakery truck in a street accident. Lara Baru's insurance policy had a $1,250,000 limit. This morning, the 70 drivers were getting ready to start their delivery routes for the final time. Many of them were bitter. One such was John LaHattern, a Lara Baru employee since 1941. Feel really realistic that they're very crying shame. I don't believe it was necessary. I would hope that the Paul would have some compassion with the men in this organization. What do you mean? I believe that the settlement could have been made. But I don't believe they tried hard enough. What are you going to do now? What am I going to do? I, I don't believe I have any problems. I've been in this industry long enough, and I have job offers from three places. So I don't have any problems as far as I'm stopping, but I'm concerned about the rest of the men here. Lara Brew's board chairman, Harold Paul, made the sad announcement. We decided to do it just the way we've done it, to go out gracefully uh, so that uh, the name Larabaru would not be hurt. I feel very sorry to have to do it that way, but I believe that the name Larabaru was synonymous with French bread throughout the world, as a matter of fact. And rather than let people come in, ruin the product, ruin the name, I feel the best thing to do was to cut it off. Retail customers also had heard the bad news. They thronged the little shop, buying up the very last of the crisp brown Larabaru loaves. I can't believe that somebody else isn't going to take this over and keep it going. Yeah. Bad day for the city, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's no other bread like it. No other sourdough is the same. Even as the delivery trucks rolled, plans were being made to sell the bakery for scrap. The company says it's open to buy offers, but so far, no one has offered. Jack Bates, Channel 4 News.